Hi, this is Steve Bizanoff from Media Services. Welcome to the webinar. This is the first of many webinars we're going to be doing over the next few weeks, and I'll learn from a distance series. Um, today, we're going to be talking about PO log and PC envelopes with showbiz budgeting. Uh, these are add on modules that uh, can be used by crews. Uh, who are working remotely, which is obviously very relevant at this time. Um, you will be able to down, these are two shareware modules. So if you're a user of Showbiz Budgeting, uh, your crews can download this at no charge. Um, we even have people who don't have Showbiz Budgeting using it as well, which is fine. Um, also wanted to mention throughout the webinar, that if you want to ask questions, feel free to type them in, and I will try to get to as many as possible. All questions are recorded for me, so if I don't get to them during the webinar, I'll be glad to respond to you directly. I have everybody's email. So, um, so you'll see a description here. Also, if you don't have Showbiz Budgeting, you're actually offering a discount to any attendee of the webinar. And at the end, I'll give my contact info and we can give you a discount code, um, which will save a hundred dollars off uh, during this week, okay? All right, so as we're gonna get started, this webinar is one of our shorter ones. Um, for example, this one will be about a half hour. Showbiz budgeting webinar, which we'll probably do over the next week or so, usually goes about an hour. So if anybody's interested in that, you can watch uh, for the schedule on that. All right. So what we're going to do first is we'll go, uh, if you're interested, you can uh, go to our website and you can download from our main page. You can go to Showbiz Software. And you will see all the Showbiz software products here. And at the bottom, you'll see Showbiz PC Envelope and Showbiz PO Log. So this is where you can go ahead and download uh, the programs. Um, as I said, any of your freelancers, if they're working with you, can just download it. It gives you the ability uh, to upload it into your Showbiz budgeting. So we'll start first uh, with uh, Showbiz PO log. All right, I happen to have it open, of course. And Showbiz PO log is where you're going to go ahead uh, and you can enter uh, an unlimited amount of POs to keep track of that information. And this way, if I'm, let's say, a coordinator who's keying all that information in, I can go ahead and uh, key it in and then upload it to my. Uh, PM or whoever I'm dealing with. And this can be used for commercials, features, TV, any type of uh, project. All right. So I'm just going to go in here for the time being. And uh, what I would do to create a uh, PL log, uh, I would just go in, I'm going to call it demo for the project. And the phase could be episode one or whatever you want, um, I'm going to call it episode one, and prepared by, I'm just going to put my name in there, That's real easy. And then I can go ahead and add POs here. Now, it defaults to PO number one. You could change that for any sequence that you might have. Uh, people have all sorts of different sequences. Obviously, default to today's date. Now you'll notice line account number, it does not have anything in here yet. So what I can do and what I would recommend is each person who's using this should be sent uh, the budget codes from the production company you're working with. Okay, and let me close this out. And go file, chart of accounts. And I can go ahead and import from a budget that I might have already. 
And for example, here I have, I'm gonna use a Georgia tax credit chart of accounts and brought in 510 accounts uh, straight from there. So now when I go ahead and utilize this, utilizing existing accounts because you don't want them guessing um, on that. So I can go back here and add, and you'll now see that I have my full chart of accounts here. Let's get over there. And they're all there. So I can select any account from here. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and go to an existing chart of account uh, PL log that I have. Make it a lot easier to see. And you'll see here I have all um, a whole bunch of POs. And let's look at John Smith. And I have a broken. And you put as much or as little information that you want to utilize. Now, if it's just a simple PO, you can just put the PO in the projection. Some people like to go ahead and enter POs um, every time they do a transaction. For example, if you're writing checks, you might put, create a PO for it. And this way you can keep track of the transaction and send it up to the uh, production company. Okay. Um, and here's a vendor name, description, units, and I can break down and utilize any of these uh, existing fields. So I can then go ahead and click OK. And now what I might want to do is I'm going to show you. So it's that simple. You're entering your POs. These are all POs. This one happens to be a check. And I can go ahead and uh, sequence them. And I can sort by clicking on any of the fields up here. And, uh, and I see the distribution down here by line number. It will total it up for me automatically. OK, so very easy. And now I'm going to go to Showbiz Budgeting. And let's say I want to go ahead and import that. So I'm in uh, the Georgia chart of accounts here. It's a Georgia project. So what I'm gonna do is go to file and import. Uh, all right, somebody's saying they're having issues with the audio. I hope uh, nobody else, oh, I hope it's just, hopefully everybody's hearing clearly. Uh, all right, and when we import, show this PO log, and I'm going to want to import it uh, into the actual and import. And what I'm going to do is select the show this PO log and I'm going to. I actually probably brought that in once. Imported 14 expenditures. And here are all my POs. So it's that easy uh, to bring that in. So now in my budget, uh, I can actualize automatically without having to rekey that. So that makes it real simple. Um, and you can then go ahead. Be aware that obviously in showbiz budgeting, there's a lot more functionality than the remote uh, product. Uh, so if you want complete functionality, we can print POs uh, and generate them and send them off to your uh, vendors. Uh, there's a lot more functionality there. And when we do the showbiz budgeting webinar, we'll talk more about all the features in showbiz budgeting. Okay. Um, so, so that is showbiz PO log. Real simple, real easy. I don't know if anybody uh, has any questions on that. I'm just looking. Um, so somebody is asking, what is the advantage to entering these transactions in the separate PO log, a PO log app? The advantage is, it, let's say you're a production company and your freelancers don't have the program it saves you the time of having to rekey it, or if they send you an Excel log, having to copy it and key it in from there. So that's the advantage. Obviously, if you have the program, uh, there's no reason for you to do it, but most people have many people on the project, and that's where the benefit. We, we basically created Showbiz PL log 
based on request of uh, many people for that reason. So, so that's the reason. Uh, somebody else asking, can you enter vendor information like address, contact info in the PLX or, for, or only in showbiz budgeting? Uh, it only allows that in showbiz budgeting, all right? As I said, there's a lot more functionality in uh, the full program. You will uh, have the full vendor database in showbiz budgeting so you can keep track of anything you want in there. Um, but this gives you the basic information to get started, okay? All right, any other questions? Just uh, looking at our question log here. Can payment method have a check number, account number tied to the accounts? So we have a list with a total for each payment. Um, well, it will have an account number uh, and a check number. So for example, like here, uh, here's, I threw in a, a hundred as a check number. So you will have that and that will transfer over to showbiz budgeting and then it will tie into your check log over there, okay? Um, and there'll be a total for each payment if there's multiple uh, distributions. Okay, hopefully that answers that. Will vendors uh, sync though? Um, that was another question. They will sync into uh, showbiz budgeting. So when you upload it, a record will automatically be created in the vendor database in showbiz budgeting. Okay. Um, and another question, like if I put in Lentini on a PL log and I have it in my vendor database, will it sync up when I import? If it's the exact same name, it will it will not double enter it, okay? But if it's a different spelling, it obviously won't sync up because it will think it's a different vendor. Um, so that's the only thing you want to make sure people are using uh, the same spellings, okay? Thank you. All right, so that is Showbiz PO log and what we'll do now is look at uh, Showbiz uh, PC envelope, as we call it, okay? Uh, it's another app that, as we said, can be downloaded. And basically the way uh, Showbiz PC envelope works is you go ahead and uh, you're entering, like a, even a manual petty cash uh, system everybody does everything by envelope okay so you do the same thing here and basically if i was setting up an envelope for myself um or whoever took money so we'll see sb i like initials you can use numbers whatever works for you and department i'm going to say production show a phase Let's just say uh, demo, and I'll say commercial, so CB, date issued. Uh, I think there's a 26, if I remember. <laughs> All right, and not returned yet. Okay. And um, so that would be that information. And then I'm going to want to go ahead again. This doesn't have a chart of accounts. So um, what I'm going to do is chart of accounts, import. And show this PC envelope. And that I have, oops, that's what, well, sorry. And go here. And ASCP form. Basically, that's a, a chart of accounts budget. So for commercials, that would be an ASCP form. Okay. Um, all right. So here's another question. I, sorry, I didn't get my question in soon enough. What is the difference between sync and duplicate when importing a PO? 
log. We we were just talking about a vendor, uh, whether it's going to duplicate the vendor if they're spelled differently, or the information will be to the same vendor if they're spelled the same. Okay, hopefully that answers that. All right, so I imported the uh, chart of accounts into um, the Showbiz PC Envelope program. Okay, and I'm going to start adding receipts. All right, so here, uh, receipt ID, whatever. Now I should have all my chart of accounts. Um, and let's go down to um, the line. Now, also, you can. Um, Type in, let's say meal, and you see any account. If if I don't have the uh, line that was memorized, you can just type in a uh, a label or the name of the account, and it will find anything that has that word in there. Okay, um, so that makes it real easy. So working meals, vendor McDonald's. And description, uh, let's say lunch, and I spell McDonald's, but that's okay. And amount is, let's say, $200. And click OK. All right, another question came in. So you're saying chart of accounts is essentially the same as the line numbers. That's how I would re refer to them. Exactly. That's uh, chart of accounts, line numbers, everybody uses different terminology. But yes, you are correct. Okay. All right, and I'm going to open up an existing Showbiz PC envelope that I have. And, and here is my pay cash. So here I have a uh, much more complete uh, list of receipts. Um, another question came up. Let's see. If I send this envelope to someone who doesn't have Showbiz, do I import it? Do I import the chart of accounts before sending it to them? Uh, you know, it, it, it probably would make it easier, but you don't have to. Um, if you want to send uh, somebody, if you want somebody to have download the program on their own, you could just send them a blank template with the chart of accounts. And as you saw how I imported it, they can just do it into there. So whatever is easier for you, uh, it will work both ways. Okay. And all right, somebody has the same question. All right, so you see up here, I have a uh, an envelope that was entered, all the different receipts, okay, and uh, everything's entered. And and you see the distribution down here. I can edit, delete, everything's sorted. Uh, you can put in a PO number if you want into the petty cash and what's been advanced down here. So if I was given $500 and there's receipts, it gives me the balance of 74, uh, 45, and then I can return um, anything, any amount of dollars that I want to return, okay? So it, it's that simple. And then what I would go ahead and do is go to the program and I'm gonna go open that one is in ASCP form. So I want to make sure to import it into the right budget. And what I can do again, and here in the import menu, you see a lot of different options. Um, I'm going to switch this to Showbiz PC envelope. And you see we can import payroll here, all sorts of different programs integrated into Showbiz budgeting. Okay. And I'm going to go to an actual and import. And here we have, let's switch over to the PC envelope. And here we can just import that. Imported one envelope, imported 15 expenditures. So that's now all in the program, uh, broken out and uh, and think care actually if I popped over. Let's just make sure I go back to the pro uh show this budgeting. And switch over there P MSCP form. Okay. 
All right, so here we have the SCP form. John Smith's envelope is now here, okay? So, and that's broken down and you see the whole distribution right there, okay? All right, so question, will issuing this envelope fix the issue of receipt numbering uh, continue to be in order? We added in PC expenses directly on showbiz by date, but the receipts wouldn't line up by number. Um, your sequencing has, obviously has to match up. So whatever receipt numbers that are entered, it's not going to change anything. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to spend the direct notion. But the receipts wouldn't line up by number. Yeah, so you, you would have to make sure that your sequences are uh, in order. Okay, hopefully that answers your question. Um, will you upload these instructions to YouTube as well? Um, actually, it's not a bad idea. Uh, we'll see if we can do that. Um, and you'll be able to, uh, actually I have to see, we might actually have some instructions already, uh, on our website, but I'll take a look to see if I can do that for you. Thank you. Um, when importing PO logs and PC envelopes, they simply being added to the budget and not overriding anything. Yes, it's being added in addition. It will not get rid of anything that you've entered. So additional envelopes or in POs, obviously, additional PO log it will be added, uh, not removing. So, And that's the beauty because you might have multiple uh, freelancers out there. If, let's say you're the PM and uh, working on this so they can all send you their files and it will automatically merge into the program so you do not have to re-enter it. And that's the goal here is to save you the time and the effort uh, so you're not double double working. If you can pass off work, obviously a good thing. Um, going to next question. We made sure all receipts were in date order and input them by receipt number. They show up in order on showbiz. But when you go to print, they are no longer in receipt order to clarify my question. All right, I will actually uh, reach out to you directly uh, on that because you should be able to uh, print that way as well. So I will follow up with you on that. I have your contact info here, okay? All right, um, so th that really is Showbiz PO log and Showbiz uh, Petty Cash Envelope. As I said, it's relatively quick. Another question. Are you able to print out or PDF the top sheet of the PC envelope to turn in with physical receipts um, on on showbiz uh, PC uh, on showbiz budgeting you can, but uh, on the showbiz PC envelope, um, let me just double check. Well, actually, you can print. Yeah, you can print uh, basic information. These are the print options, um, and a lot of people don't print. But this is what you can uh, print this information. So yes, you can you can do a top sheet uh, with it with uh, this additional information and have it uh, be signed. Okay. All right, and. Let's see what other questions we have here. Is there a way to use show, uh, the PC envelope or PC log to track multiple credit card transactions under one PO? Um, yes, you, you can. Um, let's see, PC envelope. Um, well, actually, the PO would allow for that. Let's go back to the PO program. Uh, PO. And here's that, and if we add, so you can track uh, multiple transact credit card transactions and put in a card number and it will allow you to total that up, okay? All right, so hopefully that answers that. Um, I'm just going through the questions, hopefully this is all relevant to you. Can images of physical receipts be attached? Uh, that's a good question. That cannot be done on 
the showbiz PLR or showbiz PC envelope. But with showbiz budgeting, if you're using the complete program, we do have that capability. So you can attach copies of your receipts um, and attach them to each transaction. That's a good question. What if there's an error in the PO numbers and the two POs have the same number during import? Okay. Um, during import, it will actually uh, ask you if you want to merge them or use a different number. It does double check the duplications on PO numbers. Okay. How many people can be sent showbiz PC envelope? Another good question. Um, it's actually unlimited because it's uh, a free download from our website and uh, you can obviously send the link uh, or send all your freelancers to our website to download it. So that is unlimited. Uh, somebody else is asking, is the webinar being recorded? Yes, it is. And uh, we will have a link up on our website of this webinar. I don't know if it'll be today, but over the next day or so. So it can be, uh, you can hear, hear this again. Uh, so yeah, we, we record all our webinars so um, that uh, you'll be able to get them all up there if you can't make one. Um, another question, what is the limit of invoices I can attach to a PO? I, I noticed I could do more, uh, not do more than four. Actually, um, that should not be the case um, and because you should be able to really do unlimited. I will double check that for you. That's a good question. Um, yeah, I don't think that there is a limit, but I'll double check, check to make sure I'm right and get back to you, okay? Any other questions? All right. Um, so if you have questions or think of questions, um, or you are interested in the discount code for showbiz budgeting. Again, my name is Steve Bizanov. I'm based normally out of the New York office. Obviously, everybody's working from home as of this time. Um, but you can reach out to me if you have questions at steve at mediaservices.com or you're welcome to call me uh, directly. Uh, the office number which forwards to me is 917-305-8309 or directly on my cell, which is 917-670-5505. And, um, and that pretty much covers this. So feel free, as I said, we'll be doing a complete webinar on showbiz budgeting over the next week or so, as well as many other topics. I think the next one up is on Tuesday which will be a tax incentive webinar and you can register for that at mediaservices.com um, and if you have any other questions on payroll software feel free to reach out uh, we are available for you all right well let's see if we have any more questions before we wrap it up and i'm just taking a quick peek here on the list of questions and it seems like uh, Yeah. Oh, here's one. Is there an elegant way to handle returns or is this or is a minus sign the best way? Yeah, returns would be a minus sign. Uh, that's how the system calculates that. Okay. Uh, another question, remind us the regular prices for showbiz. Um, showbiz budgeting, uh, the, the standard license with two installs is $399 and we're offering a discount of $100 off. So um, for this week. So again, if you're interested, you can reach out to me, as I said, on my uh, uh, email or phone. I'll be glad to get that for you. Um, no, uh, no, it would be instead of uh, it would be uh, I think regular price three ninety nine. It should go down to two ninety nine. All right, you're you're thinking it's five hundred. Um, okay, and I think, all right, thank you. Everybody's thanking me, I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, I think that's it. 
All right, any other questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you for attending the first of our many webinars that are coming up. We appreciate it. All right, take care. Bye-bye.